Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk through how we can limit the user's ability in Kajabi to skip through a video. Uh, perhaps you want to make sure that someone is watching a video in its entirety and you don't want them to either mark as complete to be able to advance on if you've locked down the content. And perhaps you don't want them to be able to skip through by uh, jumping ahead along the, the play bar here and missing the first nine or so minutes of a 10 minute video. So I'm gonna walk you through that process, it's super simple. So let's hop back on over to Kajabi for where this product is set up. Um, I have set up in here, we've got three different categories just for demo purposes here. Basically what you're gonna to need to do is, when you're setting up your product in Kajabi, you're gonna to need to set this up uh, under subcategories of categories uh, instead of new posts under categories. So it's actually gonna be category, subcategory and then post and then the video will go into the post itself so you can see right here i've got category one two and three and then each one of these has a subcategory and then under each of the subcategories i've got a post with the videos okay so you can see here i have a couple of these uh, subcategories locked down the reason for that is because uh, i want to make sure that someone after they go through uh, category one that's the only way that they can go on to category two or subcategory two and then likewise for category three. I can't lock down category one because it's the first one in the product. Um, if there was anything before it, maybe like a welcome video or something like that, then I could have that welcome video and then lock down category one, right? So, okay, so once you have set up your product somewhat like what I have here where we have subsequent uh, categories or subcategories locked down, and if you're not sure how to lock that down, you can just click into this little icon here or click into the little green icon here and then adjust accordingly. But once you have that set up, then the next step is to make two small adjustments to the code of a theme for your product. So let's go up to the top up here for the product. And if you click into the top where it says customize, let's click into customize here real quick. And then um, this is gonna be the most recent theme that you have for your product. Um, off to the side over here, these three little dots. Let's expand that and then go to edit code. And there's gonna be two minor adjustments that we're gonna uh, make in here. Now when you hop in here, it might have these all um, minimized here, but I'm gonna go ahead and expand this out. I'm looking for the video.liquid file in the theme. So click into there real quick and then scroll up. And then this line right here, it says video Wistia video player. So these are the controls for your video. So there's some additional code they're gonna be adding in here and I'll provide that to you um, along with this video. I'm gonna hop on over to where I actually have this stored over here and Adam. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this real quick. Put this right in after where you see in this line here for the Wistia video player controls. We're gonna put that right after HTML5. And just make sure that we have a comma right after HTML5 and the double quotes there. So that looks good to me. So you could go in and adjust these if you needed to. Um, you might not know exactly which, which of these controls uh, adjust the controls of the play bar here. But basically, um, I've already preset this up to hide this bar right here. And then it's going to continue to have the play button that shows up and then the play button that shows up right over here in the corner. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit save here. And then if I refresh this real quick, we should see, you can see now that it has the play button right here, the play button right there. Or actually before this, this large play button wasn't even displayed, but now it is. Uh, but you can see now the, uh, the play bar here at the bottom, that is now missing. One other change, I now want to make this mark as complete button. I want to make that hidden. So I'm going to hop back on over here into Kajabi and we're going to look for the post mark as complete file in the theme. And then I'm going to scroll down through here and I'm looking in the code and I'm looking for uh, right here, this section here, the button completion section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and right after where it says margin bottom zero, I'm gonna hit enter. And then we're gonna put it in here, display none 
So just put it just as I put there. So it's display colon none semicolon. Then go ahead and hit save. And if we go back over here to Kajabi and refresh this, there you can see now our Marcus complete button is now gone. So now if we were to go ahead and play this through, so you can see I have no ability to be able to uh, adjust or you know skip ahead in this particular video. Now, if I try to hit next category, I'm gonna see that the post is locked. And the reason why the post is locked is because as we saw back over here, I had locked down category two. Now I would be forced to go back into my video and continue to watch all the way through. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here. I'm not gonna make you actually watch the rest of this, but essentially, um, once Kajabi finishes playing the entire video, it's going to unlock the ability for the user to be able to, to fast forward. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to that really quickly. Okay, so as you can see now, Kajabi has unlocked this. Uh, so now I can go ahead and click on play now here, and then they can move on to the second video. And then also here on lock post two, I have uh, post three locked down. So if they were to try to go ahead and click on next category, that's going to be locked down as well. But again, if they go through the entire video, then at the end, Kajabi's gonna unlock this and then they could move on to the next category. Okay, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any other questions, let me know.